Hey guys, it's Sarah and today we're going to talk about all the books I read in the month of December. I had an ambitious TBR for December and I did not get to everything, not even close. But I did read some books, I read some good books, and it is what it is. And it's totally fine. So uh, I will show you what I read. I am in the middle of two books right now as well, which I'll show you at the end. I don't foresee myself finishing either one before the end of the year. Today is the 29th when I'm filming this, so uh, I don't know that I'm going to finish either of them in the next three days. There's possibility, I guess, maybe for one of them, but I'm not really sure yet. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this is what I finished in the month of December, what I'm currently reading. And if I finish anything before the end of the month, great. If not, I'll include those in January. So no worries at all. Okay, here's what I read. The first one that I finished is here by Jenny Bunting. Now this is independently published by Jenny and uh, she has a channel. I don't think she has a lot on there. She's not posting um, a whole lot anymore, but she's concentrating on her writing, which I'm really happy she's doing that because I really, really liked this, you guys. Um, I was even messaging her while I was reading this because there were just some parts that I just went, oh my gosh. Um, okay, so this is an adult, adult contemporary book. And it is about a woman who is a maid of honor in her best friend's wedding. Um, there are also three of her ex-boyfriends in this wedding, including the groom. The groom is an ex-boyfriend of hers, and then two of the groomsmen are ex-boyfriend of hers. And one of them, there's a lot of lingering things happening. There's uh, a big time gap where they weren't speaking anymore. And this is the first time that she's really seeing him and interacting with him since they have cut ties. And so there's still a lot of lingering feelings there, a lot of hurt and um, a lot of <laughs> attraction still to this man. And oh my gosh, I loved it. Number one, Jenny and I have very similar humor. And so all of the humor in here, I was just eating it up. I loved it. There were some scenes that made me laugh out loud. Just the dialogue is really good as well. And yeah, I really, really liked it. I gave it four stars. Um, and the reason for that is because this is Jenny's first book and she has even said it's not her best. So, you know, she learned a lot of things from writing this and getting reviews and getting feedback and all that stuff. So, um, but man, if I didn't completely just love this and I read it really quickly and I'm excited that I got the second one because, uh, I really want to read that one. And she said that one's her favorite. So, um, I think that's going to be happening here soon, but yeah, I really, really like this a lot. The next book that I finished was Troubled Blood by Robert Galbraith. This is book number five in the Camoran Strike series. And I listened to it on audio. I don't own it physically, but Oh man, this book was long. <laughs> it was good. It was very good. I can say though, I think the last two books were just too long. They These are detective series. They don't need to be almost a thousand pages, which this one was. It took me a really, really long time to listen to it. I did enjoy it. I really like where the story's going. I liked the crime that they were trying to uncover. It involves a serial killer who is completely just disgusting. And you're getting a lot of insights into that. I really like where the relationship is going between the two main characters. And it's just every book, they get a little bit closer. They get a little bit closer. <laughs> so when things finally happen between them, which I'm positive they will, it's going to be nice. But yeah, so I gave this one four stars. And this the reason is I just think it was too long. Not that the story wasn't good. It really was. I really enjoy this series. I will continue to read them but just very, very, very long. The next book that I read was A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now, here's what I did. Uh, I listened to Neil Gaiman read this book. Oh my gosh. Uh, I recommend. I listened to it while I was grocery shopping from the time I left my house driving to the grocery store, doing my grocery shopping and driving home, I was able to listen to the entire thing. It's about an hour and a half long and I listened to real time. I didn't speed it up or anything. But I could listen to that man read the back of a cereal box and be happy. His voice is just perfect. 
He has a fantastic voice. So I love that he does narrations. And this one was great. Uh, I found this on the New York City Public Library broad podcast. Um, so that's where you can listen to it. And um, yeah, it was just... It was great. And I gave it five stars, you guys. Like, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. I think him reading it made me enjoy it as much as I did. Um, but there are numerous narrators for this book as well. Tim Curry does one that I've heard is good. Hugh Grant does one that I've heard is good. Um, I just chose this one because I love Neil Gaiman and I've listened to him narrate books before and love, love them. So and plus it was shorter. It is abridged. So it's, it's not the full, the whole thing. Uh, so I will say that, but yeah, I gave it five stars. Thank you, Neil Gaiman. And then I read The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I buddy read this with my friend Jamie and it made it into my top 10 of 2020 because I loved it. Now, this will be a book that I reread someday where I can just focus solely on this because I did have other things happening at the same time. So I wasn't completely immersed in it the way that I know I can be. And even as I was reading it, I was like, man, this is just a story I know I could get lost in if I just let myself get lost in it. And I didn't really do that. I was reading other things too. So that's a little bit of a regret for me. But oh my gosh, this story was beautiful. Uh, it follows a boy named Zachary, and he basically discovers that there is a magical world outside of our own that he has access to for very certain reasons, and he meets all these different people who are from that world. He is destined to be there. There is a romance in here that is fantastic. Uh, there is representation um, Zachary is gay, and uh, I believe his best friend is bisexual as well, and just, uh, I don't know, it was just so good. <laughs> I, it's hard to describe this book. It really, really is, but The Starless Sea is an actual thing. Um, it involves a library as well. That's how he kind of found all this stuff out, and oh, I just, it's hard to describe, but it's beautiful, and I gave it five stars. If you like The Night Circus, you're probably going to like this too. Um, if you liked Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, you're probably going to like this too. So if you want to do some comparisons, the, those are what I would compare this to. But Erin Morgenstern has solidified the favorite author. And then I finished my read of Harry Potter. I finished Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have been rereading the series. I listened to all of them. I listened to the narrations by Jim Dale, which are perfect. So happy with those. Um, and I finished this one. So my reread of the series is now complete. Loved it. Five stars. Always. Always and forever. <sighs> always. And then I read a book that Krista sent me for our 12 Plaids of Christmas book exchange. She sent me her brother's book, which is 25 Songs of Christmas by BJ Richardson. Her brother wrote this. It does involve 25 Christmas songs and some of the meanings behind them, where they came from, what they mean, what they meant to him growing up. Um, a lot of them have biblical ties as well, which is really great. And I treated this almost like a like an advent thing where I would read one a day and there's 25. So, um, but yeah, it was great. I really liked it. I liked that there's a lot of songs in here I've never heard of. Um, and they were just nice little short reflections of them. And, um, I really liked it when it was tied into biblical things because it made sense and kind of the origins of the songs and where they came from. Um, and then, you know, there's some that are completely not biblical at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're just fun songs. Um, so yeah, it was great. It was a really good thing to read during the Christmas season. And I gave it four stars. And the last book that I finished, and then we'll get into what I'm currently reading, um, is King's Bane by Clara Legrand. Now, I'm not going to give you my rating just yet because this is a five-star prediction for me for our sequels. So you will be getting that here very soon. But um it is book two in her Imperium trilogy. The first one was Furyborn. This one is King's Bane. And then the third book is Lightbringer. Uh, and it is a trilogy. So um, 
I'm not going to give you my thoughts quite yet, though. Those will be coming up, but I did finish it. All right, so books I'm currently reading. I'm reading three right now. Um, so, okay. The first one I started in December. I wasn't planning to finish in December. I was hoping to get halfway through, and that did not happen. I needed to put it down to concentrate on other things, especially my five-star predictions, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but I did pick up A Little Life by... Hana Yanagahara, and this is for the Random Reads book club that Vicky and Bobby host on Goodreads. I'll leave a link to them down below um, and to the group if you guys want to see um, what they're reading, but planning to take two months to read this for sure. Uh, I only read the first section. I read, um, how many pages did I end up reading? Let's see, I read the first part. So I read 100 pages. Um, and then I just had to put it down, <laughs> not because I wasn't enjoying it. I was really enjoying this. I'm excited to pick it back up, but it's definitely not a quick read. Um, it's dense, it's heavy, and I just, I really had to get through some of my five-star predictions before anything else. So this one became less of a priority for me, but I do plan to pick it back up in January. I would love to finish it. I'm not 100% sure I can, but we'll see. So if I finish it in March, like, or February, March, <laughs> in February. <laughs> like, it's fine. But I do want to pick it back up in January and see what I can do. But I do have the sections marked off for the Goodreads discussion groups. Um, so every time I finish a section, I can go into that group thread and talk about it. But I was really enjoying it. So if you're interested in my thoughts on this one, 100 pages in, I'm loving it. It's a lot, but I'm loving it. I am also currently almost halfway through The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayless. I really wanted to have this read. Um, we're actually reading this for my book club that we were planning to try to meet at the end of December, but um, so a lot of people had holiday stuff happening, so it wasn't uh, quite working out. So I think we're going to try to meet early January, which I'm grateful because I'm not done with it yet. I'm only barely halfway through barely. Um, so I need to finish this up. I think I'm on date number seven right now. Um, let me see what date I'm on. Oh, I'm into this. Look at that. Yes. Seventh dates of Christmas. I'm on the seventh one. So, um, working my way through it definitely, but it's, again, I put it down for other things for five star predictions because I waited too long on my five star predictions. Um, so I'm currently almost halfway through and enjoying it. It's not unputdownable. Um, it is very easy and quick to read when I do pick it up, um, but it's a little predictable and I'm kind of thinking I already know what's going to happen and maybe that's another reason I'm not eager to pick it up because I'm not like trying to figure anything out. I'm pretty positive I know where this is going. So there is that. And the last one that I'm currently reading, Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, which is my last five-star prediction I need to read. Very quickly, I need to read this because we're almost to the point where I am I need to film my follow-up. And uh, yeah, 500-page um, book in a week, no problem. Um, however, I did pick this up last night to start it and did not want to put it down. So that's good news. My problem with this round of five-star predictions is I had, I picked chunky books. I didn't have to. I was about to say I had to pick chunky books. I didn't have to. I pick whatever I want. Um, but I picked a couple of chunky books for series that I wanted to make more progress in. So Kingsbane was really long. This is pretty long. Um, a couple other things were pretty long. So that, and then, you know, I started reading some other things and I was reading some longer books as well. And it just made everything kind of slide. But I have confidence that I can read this quickly because again, I did not want to put it down last night and I had to because I was falling asleep because I was tired. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so currently reading this one and this is my main focus right now until I finish it because I do have our follow-up coming up really soon. Okay guys, those are all the books that I finished in the month of December and I'm currently in the middle of right now. So those will probably be in my January wrap up, but let me know your thoughts down below. Have you read any of the books that I talked about today? How was your December? How was the last month of the year for you? Like, were you trying to finish up some things? Were you trying to finish up your Goodreads goal? Like, how did it go? Did you have more time for reading than you thought this year? Or did you have less time? Let me know all your thoughts. And I will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.